we're going to be rounding some numbers to the nearest 10. The number 4, is it closer to 0 or 10? Well, there's 0 and there's 10. And if we plot 4 on our number line, we can see the distance between 4 and 0 is less than the distance between 4 and 10. So it's closer to 0. What about 18? Is it closer to 10 or 20? There's 18 there. If you think about it, we can actually look at the centre and see if it's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. If it's on the right-hand side, like it is, it must be closer to 20. So 18 is closer to 20 because it's more than halfway between 10 and 20. Let's have a look at a rule that we can use because we're not going to always want a number line. We'll use a number line now. We've got 48 and we want to round it to the nearest 10. Because we've got a 4 in the tens place, it will either be 40 or 50. So if we think of our number, it's between 40 and 50. And 48 is there. Now you can see the halfway point is 45. If it was on the left of the halfway point, we would round down to 40. But it's on the right-hand side. It's actually between 45 and 50, so it's actually closer to 50. So we've actually just used the rule there but we're going to look at it in more detail now. We're going to look at the number 75 and we want to round it to the nearest 10. We have a 7 there, so it's going to be between 70 or 80. And then we're going to move one place right to the units digit. And we need to see whether to round that up or down. Now remember, 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, we round down. But if we've got a 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. But hang on. We've got a five. Well, guess what? Someone made a decision and they said, even though that's exactly halfway, we will always round up if we have a five in that position. So if we're rounding to the nearest 10, we look at the units place and that number tells us whether we round up or down. A five, a six, a seven, an eight or a nine means we round up. So in this case, 75 rounds up to 80.